Um, so John Morant, everybody, I'm sure at this point must have heard his name. If you don't even know him, you must have heard the name John Morant by now because it's so popular at this point. Yeah. It's been a long time coming up until this, but John Morant for a long time has been kind of doing this um, – this on and off, I'm a gangster, I'm not a gangster situation or trying to uh, portray himself to be a thug or a gangster. It has been researched thoroughly. <laughs> and, ev- you know, the evidence is there that he was not raised that way, that he was not a gangster, that he was, uh, which no, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not no gangster. I wasn't raised to be no gangster. I was raised like John Morant in a two, two-parent home mm-hmm. with a roof over my head and all that. Um, but John Moran, for some reason, ain't cool with that. He don't he don't like that. That is how his life went. So he's been trying to change the narrative of that. This accumulated to last night or the night before. John Moran, sorry, John Moran <laughs> was in the club. Apparently, in the video when I originally saw it, I didn't even know he was in the club. It looked like he was like in his room or something to me. I thought he was just like vibing in his room at night. But John Moran is in the in the club with what you call the blicky or what you know what kids call the glizzy these days. Pulling it out in the club and showing it on Instagram. On Instagram Live. On Idiot. Instagram Live, when John Morant is one of the most popular NBA players right now and plays for an NBA team. Oh, mind you, um, mind you, I, you're probably going to bring this up, but this is while he's already under, like, a, not investigation, yeah. but you can go and say it. I, I think it's like they're just like, it's not an investigation, yeah. but yeah, allegations. Like, but uh, yeah, like, <clears throat> allegations yeah, with him beating up a 17 year old and, and threatening him with the gun. And threatening with a gun, with a gun. Yeah. So again, this is this young man who's clearly on a, on a, a mission to prove something for some reason. Um, but a lot of people. So John Moran ultimately, so far, his only punishment is he has been suspended for they're saying at least two games. He's going to be yeah. out for the next two games at least, right? Um, a lot of people are saying it should be more. I don't know, whatever. But um, I actually got more details on that too. They're saying it yeah, could okay. be more because. Yeah, go ahead. They were saying they were saying that him having the gun in the club that night would mean that he had to have traveled with it on the team's uh, travel plane and bus. So These if they details, found that, if they ahead, yeah, if they find out that that's true, they said he's getting suspended for at least fifty games, which means he will miss the playoffs. You said fifty and games. Play on fifty. God damn! <laughs> I don't really like to bet and shit like that, but. I can almost bet my life they ain't gonna, they're not going to suspend this man for no 50 games, bro. I, I can you don't think so? bet that shit. No, because one, because this is what you just said, right? This almost 100% guarantee proves that Buddy traveled with the gun on the on the bus, right? Or wherever they, whatever transportation they took, he traveled with it. <clears throat> Why is that not being talked about? That is that aspect right there, That's especially true. as far as it pertains to the NBA and talking about it on Sports Center or First Take, whatever. That is what they should be talking about. Nobody's mentioning that. Nobody's talking about that. How yeah. another thing I saw Paul Pierce come to this man's defense saying, Oh, we supposed to have a gun. You know, this is a young man with millions. We fear for our lives. Sure. Bro, that's no so one, and, and this is the people so stupid when people do this and so annoying. Like you said, EJ, yes, annoying. You're a grown man and you're acting like you don't understand what the problem is here. No one is right. saying John Moran shouldn't have a gun. I, I personally feel like every black man with over five hundred thousand dollars in his bank account should own a gun. You get what I'm saying? Gun or not, you know your situation. You know who you play. You're not a rapper. You you answer to somebody. You answer to the NBA. Forget even the whole kids looking up to you. Because a lot of people, that was their problem with the old kids looking up to him. But I don't even care about that. Forget kids looking up to him. Because I'm saying kids go listen to Young Thug and shit right when they, when they turn off his game. Right, that doesn't right. matter. <laughs> why, put, why, show, why do that, bro? Why put yourself in that situation? To, over the sake of what showing that you have a gun that you own a gun that most people probably expected that you did have why right. show that you're that dumb why put your team in that situation why put the, the the nba in that situation why put nike in that situation which to, you know me i don't feel sorry for nike in no type of way because <laughs> nike was the first people to come to this man's defense on some like yeah we, y'all didn't understand Kyrie's plight at all but y'all understand john yeah. morant flashing the blicky in the club on instagram that y'all can understand that sure. y'all can get behind and be like no, that that makes sense. We could we could support that. This man ain't faced no, didn't get no drop from nothing. Didn't get his bank his Chase bank account taken. Didn't get none of that, right? And just like Kyrie, Kyrie was forced to write a fake ass apology, and Kyrie did it, and still lost Nike and all that stuff. That right? But but with John Morant, they're okay with John Morant promoting violence amongst his people. But that's a whole other conversation. Um, 
Yeah. But yeah, so Clay, let me tell ask me, tell me like what you think about it. Because you know, I've seen some people saying that they don't think it should even be a that big of a deal because they're not like he like was using it or he like pointed it at somebody or nothing like that. But I feel like it's the what you're implying and and it you know, it's just like like you you a parent, I raised you better than that. Imagine you a parent, you raised your kid and he out on the street acting like he a thug. It's like, bro, you're not no thug, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know what? This this right here is the prime example. Like when I seen all this unfolding, it's a prime example of how powerful hip hop culture has become. Yep. Because not only hip hop culture in itself, but the man plays for the Memphis Grizzlies. <laughs> uh everybody know Young Dog. Everybody know Key Glock. Everybody know Yo Gotti. Like everybody from Memphis is gutter. You know what I'm saying? Like they, 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 they get it where they fit in in, in Memphis. So as where far you from as, again? Sorry, where, where is John Moran from again? Where is John Moran uh, from? Honestly, I'm not sure. South Carolina, so, I think. Figured, South Carolina, I think. Same place as Zion. They both came from the same spot. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Clear. So, yeah. So like, but yeah, like this just goes to show how powerful hip hop culture is, and it's it's honestly, uh, it's disappointing. It's 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 dead. It's Clay, dang near disgusting so, in a way because let me ask and you. I only this. say I that. I only talk. say that. I was only gonna say that. The only reason why I say that though is because it's like I, I've always appreciate. It went from us appreciating hip hop and basketball and everything like being in one to now we got this like everybody got to be a gangster even when you're not a gangster cesspool and it's 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 annoying. You know what I'm saying? You mean it's like it's, 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 as far as like sports. I'm talking about, like, in general, like, in terms of, like, how now we got John Morant, a basketball player who should just be worrying about basketball, who feels like he needs to show off a gun to show how tough he is. You know what I'm saying? Wearing grills. It's like, come on, bro. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, I, hip-hop has had such a strong um, <clears throat> influence on the NBA for years, and obviously that's because, the, the you know, the NBA is predominantly black males, and right. hip-hop is predominantly right. black males, and so... So it's like, I don't want to, like, I wouldn't say that because I'm like, there's so much NBA players and even ones that are directly friends with rappers. You got NBA players that are directly affiliated with gangs and things like, 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 um, Steven Jackson, Steven Jackson, or even uh, what's homie from the Bulls, um, from the Bulls, from Chicago. No, no, no. He's from Chicago. Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose. Rose. Oh, Derrick Rose. Yeah. Remember Derrick Rose? He got ties to um, yeah, like his family. Damn, to, to, to them niggas. Yeah, to them niggas in Chicago, like the black mo, whatever. Um, so all again, also what I'm, my point is that these all these people and for so long, rap and hip hop and gangsterism, whatever, has had influence on NBA culture and stuff. But you don't be seeing, at least not in public. And that's what I'm saying. I'm sure a lot. Of, <clears throat> sorry, I'm sure a lot of NBA players have guns. Even bring them inside the club, bring them parties, whatever. But you don't see them flashing it. I think one of the most yeah. real life would have done something gangsters to hit the NBA in the history was Allen Iverson, right? And Allen Iverson, would, he would let you know from his demeanor and how he would talk and what he would be about that he was about that, but he wouldn't do things like bringing blickies in the locker room or flashing them in the club or walking around yeah. acting all, t- you know, he didn't do shit like that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. And again, when I, when I make this argument with people, they always say the NBA players of that time that I'm talking about, they didn't have things like Twitter and Instagram and social media to have outlets to do that on. Cause, you know, probably maybe he would, but I don't know. I just feel like it's like something specifically with John Morant. I don't know why, but it seems like he is hell bent on proving that he is some kind of like gangster or gang affiliated. Yeah. I don't know why, and I don't think it, it cannot be just like old hip hop. You know what I mean? Like I don't know why. I wouldn't blame it directly. It's immaturity. I wouldn't blame it directly on yeah. hip hop, but I feel like it has a lot to play. You know what I'm saying? Like just like I messaged you earlier. He, he probably listened to a lot of NBA young boy. You know what I'm saying? He's young. You got to remember the age. He's probably around. <laughs> like, you like, tell me half the niggas they listen to the NBA young boy in their in they, in they headphones before they play? I, I, but, you know, some them <laughs> niggas want to take it to another level. Ron Artest first come yeah. to mind. If we're talking about realists yeah. about that life. As and, far as gangster? I'm thinking, I would say Steven Jackson because he actually, like, was – like a blood or or crib, I forgot which one. He was yeah. actively in a gang Jackson, while he was in the NBA. Ron Artest, 
Gilbert Arenas too. Remember Gilbert Arenas? He was about that too. He brought the gun. He wasn't really about that. Like yeah, he's the one who brought the, the yeah, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but but Stephen Jackson was actually in a gang while he was in the NBA. Like he was gang affiliated. That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> different. Same shit. Yeah. Like Al Iverson. He did. Yeah, remember yeah. Al Iverson got into. He almost. Al Iverson almost didn't make it to the damn NBA because of his situation. He got caught up when he was in college and he had to go to that little prison thing that he did. After the the brawl that they had in, in the um, but AI the was just alley or whatever. Yeah. AI was just yeah. it was, what's funny is that I always compare John Morant to AI, and I feel like he's just taking that to a whole yeah. other level. His play style he and everything, but it to a whole but uh, level. AI yeah. was more just AI was just like just like uh, kind of just a, like just I don't know I don't know how to explain it. He wasn't on like he wasn't trying to be. Gangster, That's like a, like a John Moran. Like, it was yeah, just he was really he was really, just, he was really, was he was really just being himself. Like the the bowling alley <laughs> incident, like you know what I'm saying. He was young. He was in the bowling alley. Fight breaks out. He just a part of it. Yeah, yeah. So he, he's fighting for his homies, um, and other stuff. He kind of just. I, if I was to look back at it, I would be like, okay, I would kind of do what Allen Iverson did in this in this situation. I would do what Allen right. Iverson. I can't say that I do anything that John Morant is doing. Like, like you know what I'm saying? He's Everything that he's doing is stupid. Make, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just and that is the major difference. Cause like I said, a lot of these NBA players got to be on that gangster, half gangster, whatever. But it's the stupidity of John Morant, where it's like either he don't care, and that's the attitude for me too. If you on this like, well, I don't care. Cause I think really subconsciously that's how he is because he must have had known, unless he was super drunk or high or something, he must have had known the NBA wasn't gonna be cool. And with and that. oh, and I wanted to bring up too, um, like I feel like the reason they're going so hard on him is because first of all, this thing with the seventeen-year-old. Also, he got in trouble a couple like months back. I think it was last year doing a playoff something where he commented on Twitter, somebody's Twitter, and he's like. Oh, how would twenty two hollows feel in you or something like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like bro, and that's what started it. That's yeah. where he started his dumb shit. Was like last year on Twitter yeah. where he kept, and then some other shit like someone said something to him on Twitter and he said some kind of kind of thing that's like a blood reference or like basically like I'm blood type shit. And it's like, bro, and like then, well, even if you is, even if you is, because again, I don't know what these niggas be doing, and I know when you get a certain amount of money, you can obviously put yourself in in certain groups, mm -hmm. right? So I don't know, maybe dude is real blood gang now, whatever he is, but. What is your fixation on letting the world notice while you're an NBA player? You know what I'm saying? Like, wouldn't the smart thing to do would be to like to do what you do, get, keep keep playing in the NBA like normal and getting your NBA money? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't get the the his his attitude about it. It's it's really stupid. I, yeah. I I just wonder how his like his like parents feel about that because like that is yo like they be jacking it too. Uh, you I feel like they be so? jacking it too because I seen yeah because one I done seen reports and like from videos of how it look it seemed like his sister's like fake kind of come up on the train of that too and then you could tell she's just being super humble right now because she still got to be on the come up until she get to the WNBA or wherever she's going but i seen too like his pops been on some like fake like mob gangster like he a mob nigga too like you know what i'm saying like and even with the way you see his demeanor at the game with the glasses like you dapping him up <laughs> And then you go look at these people's family pictures from like 10 years ago. They look sweeter than me and my family when we was taking them type of pictures <laughs> right. back in the day. Right. I'm like, yo, right. this whole family suite. Y'all know y'all wasn't on no, none of y'all was on this, this whole gangster. But you know how sometimes there's some people who they wasn't on that, but their family and their parents kind of had that presence and they, and they kind of washed off on them. You know what I'm saying? But when you, niggas done, done dug up the whole Durant, uh, Morant family tree and all their pictures and stuff. And every one of these pictures is sweet, boy. Every <laughs> single one of them. You can tell these people was not on that lifestyle at all under no no yeah. circumstance. And it's like the NBA young, know, NBA young boy, know. NBA young boy said it perfectly. It's like, you know what I'm saying? If I look at your mama and she ain't gangster, I know you're not gangster. Boom, <laughs> boom. I was and like, like hey, he kind of got a point. <laughs> kind of got a point. And as my mama ain't gangster, so I ain't saying your mom need to be gangster, but. It's like how he's you would think with how hard he's going to for this persona, there wasn't all this like history on him and all this like evidence of the contrary. Right. Like, that's just, I don't know, man. Shout out to John Morant. That, that's probably insecure. That's another thing, probably insecure. But I think it says a lot why, why, why a young man with his that has accomplished as much as he has, and obviously as rich as he has, and his family too. Because, like I said, his sister looked like she's about to be on to come up as well. How what you insecure about, dog? He not he not an ugly dude. I don't think you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why I said for me, I feel like it, it's stupidity. Um, yeah, but yeah, man, that's all I gotta say on John Morant. I don't know if anyone shout out the Knicks. The Knicks just won in overtime against in uh, double overtime. Shout out to the Knicks. Overtime, nine man. game winning streak. 
Celtics is looking like a whole L right now, bro. Celtics is New York just crushed y'all. New York just crushed y'all. The, the Nets just came back from y'all from a 30, 28 point deficit at the half a couple days ago, and the Knicks just crushed y'all in double overtime. Like, sorry, That's bro. That's crazy. It's looking like an L for Boston. Damn. Yeah, man. Um, sorry, so Boston. Not to the Knicks. Not sorry, Boston. Yeah, not at all. Uh, 